6 Series, finally something to compete with the Mercedes-Benz SLs. Well, and finally the return of the 6 Series, you know, I mean, that was a that was a model that was launched back in 76. It had tons of fans out there. It then it went away, and now it's time, you know, I mean, it, it, it and it captures all this kind of, this uh, styling that Chris Bangle's gotten so much flack over. Well, it works <laughs> in this car. It really looks sleek and elegant. Well, it's got to work in the U.S., because that's where uh, Bimmers get sold these days. Well, you know, look, look, I mean, they, their sales were almost 300,000 units combined U.S. and Canada last year, and they want to grow that. I mean, BMW is in this major growth mode, and that's, of course, where all the profits are. Is, you know, they've, they've got so much product coming, it's just amazing. <laughs> they should make a lot of money in the U.S.A. and Canada, and this is a car that will give them an image car in that class where they haven't competed with Mercedes. Well, money, they got to make money because they blew so much on Rover. Well, they blew it on Rover, and, they, you know, they've, they've, I think they've overcome that, but where they're really spending money now is in all the launch of all these new products. I mean, they launched a whole new brand with Mini, then they launched another whole brand new brand with Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. and now they're expanding the lineup. They want to increase their sales to 1.4 million uh, by in the next couple of years, and uh, they've just got to throw a lot of money at the product development and the marketing to build those volumes. Well, let's go talk to one of BMW's board members who spends all that money. <laughs> 